All right, we're going to start with one of the most important videos. This video is the flow of the class. If you understand how the class flows, where are you supposed to navigate, and how do you know if you've done everything for the week, it gives you confidence and it relieves a lot of stress and it'll make you feel much better about the course. So let's go through this. Now, I've just logged in with my student account and you'll see I have some messages uh, from old classes um, and you can read those if you want. Um, well, your own messages. This is where you would find them. Uh, if you follow the directions that come in a later video how to set this up. Um, on the left hand side, if you've used more before, you may see some old courses. So you can always click the X to hide those. Don't worry, they are just hidden. You can always get them back by using the v View Hidden Courses link. I'm going to click into our course. And now here's what we're looking at. Step one, always look through the announcements every single time. If it starts collapsed, make sure you show them. There will always be an announcement there. If there isn't one, you can email me and say, hey, where's this week announcement? week's announcements? Um, so here's what you do. You're, you're going to read your announcement and you're going to look at your to-do list. If you do these things in the to-do list, you will be done with the week. You are going to know you've done everything. There is one exception to that rule, quizzes. I will not always necessarily list a quiz, but my promise to you, and I say this in the syllabus, is they will always become available Thursday of that week, and then they will always be due Tuesday with all your other assignments. So if you find, you know, if, as long as you log in sometimes Thursday by 1 p.m., Thursday or later, you will know that if there's a quiz or not. Okay, um, so you look at your to-do list. Now, the staples of every week, the thing you're going to expect to always have are lessons and homework. Okay, whoops, and there should be 2.3 in there. I'll fix that. So lessons and homework. So what we're going to do, we are not going to navigate through the course from the calendar. This is just a really good little reminder of what's due. But no, 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 we're going to actually go down to the sections. And if this is starts collapsed, uh, then you can just press a little down arrow to make it expand. I'm going to go into 2.1. And then here, we will see everything that's expected of us to be successful in 2.1. We needed the objectives to understand what we're supposed to learn, the notes to actually do the learning, textbook for extra support, and then the homework. So let's go to the notes because there's a lot of instructions here I need to go through and make sure you understand how to do them because these are for points. These are part of your grade. First things first, there is a link. If I click that, it will open up the actual notes I'll be going through uh, in the videos. So I highly recommend print these out, write down, uh, you know, fill them out as we go because you get points at the very end for uploading your pictures of your notes. You do not have to print these notes. You can do them on your own piece of paper and just kind of fill them out as you go if you'd like, but your notes that you fill out should match the notes from the video. That is the equivalent of like attending class. So I'm just giving you some points for coming to class. Now, let's go to class. Let's go to the notes. I'm going to click in. Now, this may be slightly different than you've seen in the past. It's actual an actual assignment. We're going to click in and say start assessment. And you will see here there is a video to watch. Now, the, the video has been broken up into different segments. So when I click play, Oh, it brought us into a warm-up problem. So if a problem comes up before anything starts, you should know that this is either going to be previous sections work uh, that we're going to be using in these notes or previous class work that we're going to be using in these notes. So this one here is a slope problem, which is hopefully we recognize as, uh, from previous math classes. So I'm going to get this one wrong, but I do want to, I do want to point out there is always the assumption that any problem, unless it says round, the answer should be exact. So if you get the answer of one third, you cannot type in 0.3333333, you will get marked wrong. You have to have exact answers. That being said, one fourth or 0.25 are exact, so we'll mark either of those correct. Okay. So let's get this problem wrong. Um, I'm going to just put five and hope that's wrong. Ah, shucks, I got it wrong. Now, you notice you are not locked in. You can still continue on if you would like. You don't have to get these all right, but they are for points. So you're going to want to get them right eventually. But um, if you just can't figure this out and you need to go refresh, but you want to watch the lecture right now, absolutely, you can continue on and work on the lecture. That being said, you can use this to navigate back to that problem you got wrong and say, oh, now I remember how to do slope or whatever it was in the in the lesson helped me refresh. Um, I can try the problem again. Got it wrong. I can do it one more time. Got it wrong. I can see what the right answer should have been. Oh, 11 fourths. I can try a similar problem, always for full credit. 
Okay, you get 97 reattempts at this problem. So it's this is not about stress. This is about uh, not about like a high stakes test. This is about you verifying your knowledge and your understanding to make sure that things are progressing as they should be. So now let's get this one right. Um, okay, we want to go change in y. So it'd be negative five minus seven. That would be negative 12 over change in x that'd be uh, negative seven so a negative and negative makes a positive whoops come back seven come back seven there we go all right so that is 12 sevenths i submit i got it right i have credit it shows 10 out of 10 in my drop down i can see i have a green check 10 out of 10 i am ready to continue on to the video so i'm going to continue the video i'm going to watch and you can navigate you can jump to the next problem if you'd like but i don't please please watch the video this is where learning happens you could do the next problem and then at the very end when it's over there is this problem this problem says please use this question to upload a picture of your notes no answer needs to be typed in simply click on the add work button uh, below to upload pictures of your notes so i'm going to click here i'm going to say oh okay pictures is this image right here so we're going to do that. We're going to go into here. I'm going to grab a file. So you need to grab, uh, you can you can take pictures of your notes with your phone or whatever whatever kind of imaging device you have. If you have a scanner, you can always write them and scan them um, and then upload the scan this way. But I need it as a picture, not as a link. Do not add files or, or attach files. Don't do that. I need them as a picture, and I'll show you why. So you're going to say this. You're going to say submit. Now notice, um, it's not you're not going to get credit. If you try to type in an answer, it's going to mark you wrong. There is no right answer to this. I have to upload it, and we're going to do the correction. I, I give you the grade by hand. So this is what it's going to look like on the teacher side. From the teacher side, I'm going to go to my grade book, and I'm going to say, oh, I see David's been doing his notes. I click in, and I can see from this last problem, view his work. Oh, yep, that's good. Full credit, save changes. And now his notes are graded. So please understand that is how I need you to work through these. And then when you, you'll you be able to see them in your grade book or you'll be able to see in here, oh, my professor has given me credit. Um, okay, so that's how we're going to work through notes. Key things, work through the problems, make sure you upload your pictures of the last problem. So one thing I'm worried might cause a little bit of confusion is notice the add work button is on the individual problems as well. I do not need you to add your work. I just don't have the ability to turn it off for this and turn it on only for the last problem. Now, um, you are absolutely welcome to put something here, but the system will not notify me that you put anything there and I will not check. So you'll have to send me a message or, or something of that nature uh, if you want to add work there. All right, so notes. We understand how notes work. Now, let's talk about the textbook. This is free. It's supplemental. It's just if you want another perspective. You say, look, I got it from the notes, but I want to hear it another way, or I want to read something about it. Great. Or extra problems that are not graded are found in here as well. Last but not least, the homework, the problems that are graded. When you click into here, we're going to say, let's go through our assessment. And this will be very similar to the problems that you've seen in the notes. Um, and you work through here, you hit submit. There's another video talking about how to navigate this and how to read everything on here. Um, so we do our homework. We get our grades checked off. Uh, you can always do a quick little hover over here and over the little notepad here, and I'll show you what your score is currently on the homework and say, oh, I still have some more to do. Oh, I haven't quite finished my notes. Um, once you're done with 2.1, we can use the breadcrumb trail to go back to the top, go on to 2.2. Now that we're in 2.2, you'll notice our notes actually have three parts. This is because um, I need you to watch three videos, and I can only do one per assessment. And that's okay. So they'll be shorter in length. They won't be as 45 minutes like some of the other ones. So I'm going to click into the first part, and you'll notice we have a, a few problems to do in this one, and that may change when you're actually in there. There may be more or less. But um, what you're going to notice here is when I go to my first question, well, which again, you would do by In watching section, the video and it will pop up automatically, but <laughs> I'm cheating because I'm making the video right now. Um, so we can go to our first question. You'll notice there no, is no um, add your work because I do not need you to add your work because what we're going to do, you're going to get your notes, 
you're going to fill them all out and these notes are going to go through part one, part two, and part three. So you should notice that on the part three is where we get our last little question where it says please up your, upload your notes here and you're going to say add your work. You're going to do it in part three. So in sections where there's multiple parts you'll find the notes attached to the first one and then you'll actually upload them in part three. Um, let's see. And then the last one I'll show you here, the uh, notes for 2.3, you can see this section is back to looking very similar where we have our notes, our objectives, our notes, our textbook, and our homework. All right, so general flow. We have our, we watch our lessons, we upload our notes from those lessons, we do our homework and more, and um, then we can always follow up with book problems. So in any of the sections, you will always see the textbook, you know, the extra problems are located at the end, and the answers to those, um, selected answers, are in this area here, syllabus written homework solutions, chapter two, and you can see 2.1 answers, answer number one, number five, number seven, so on. There's, an, it's, it's, it's a very select number of problems, so you'll see that, um, you know, there's only eight or so at the end of every section anyway, so they're a great place to go, and I love to go there when I'm trying to think of new test questions. So, flow of the class, I hope this makes sense. If you have any questions, please let me know.